Good morning. It is Sunday. It's not morning. It's afternoon. It is. Sorry, I'm trying to keep track of this little one down here. Um, it is Sunday, February 19th. The puppies are all getting much bigger. Georgia has been eating a lot and nursing all the time. Um, my Ireland has actually gained an ounce, so she's much smaller than the other puppies, but she's doing very, very well. But I wanted to just see them. See, this guy's starting to walk. Their eyes um, probably will not open till day 12, and this is day five, I believe. We have like another week. I think um, puppies are, t I'm told, or I've read through various sites that puppies' um, eyes open at day 12, uh, day 10. But we have noticed that because it is a giant breed and they grow over two years instead of one year, which is typical of dogs, um, everything kind of happens a little bit slower. But you can see it's kind of funny. This one's all over the place. They are um, trying to walk. Um, it, you know, their eyes are shut, so they get stuck places. Um, you know, roll over onto their back. Their noses, which were born pink, are starting to turn. Hi, Georgia, you're so good. Um, starting to turn black, and you see it's some on more puppies um, than others, where their noses are more black. The pads are their paws, you can see, but this one guy sticking up are still pink. They're very, very pink. Um, they will turn black. Um, and here, this is Red, Anna named Red after um, Taylor Swift's album Red. Red is on the smaller size um, than the other puppies. Lots of fuzz, lots of hair. I just washed everything yesterday and um, we'll wash it again. Um, and uh, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, red's on the smaller side, but actually two ounces bigger than Ireland, who's um, still just 11 plus ounces. What is nice about this litter is most of their markings, like on their face, if you can see, are pretty symmetrical. Um, we haven't gotten like a lot of pictures one-on-one -on -one other than the day they were born. Um, but we do see like the first litter we had a, a puppy with a spot, a kid running by, um, like a patch over one eye. Um, but what we've seen is that they're all symmetrical. They do have some neat markings on their back. And then some, I think two have these like brown dots in the middle of their white patch. Um, Georgia, as you'll see, the white does not go all the way through the back, but Oakley, who did here, I'm gonna, sorry, slowly plant over here, Oakley. Oakley's white does go all the way from the back, but both of our dogs, the main body part is um, darker. Um, obviously not all, they do have some, Oakley has more spots in the back. Georgia does not have that, sorry. <laughs> Panning over instead of editing. Um, but yeah, so here are the puppies on day five. So I'm just gonna keep kind of taking, I think this is day six, sorry. Let's see, well, Wednesday is a, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I guess Wednesday's one day has been completed. So we're kind of completion of day five onto day six. Um, yeah, so here are the puppies and I will just keep updating little, little videos, probably making them smaller, they're not doing a whole lot. They do have cute puppy noises. Um, I guess what I could do is, I guess when they're bigger and we have, the, they're more separated, tell you which ones are girls and which ones are boys. Um, I do know Red is a girl and, and Ireland is a girl, so the two girls are the smallest. I will say Georgia was 121 pounds pregnant with 11 puppies, so she tends to be on the smaller side for St. Bernard, although beautiful, right Georgia? Um, she does not drool, which is nice. So the smaller puppies, usually the jowls don't hang as much. So there's not a whole lot of drooling coming from her. Our yellow lab drools more than Georgia does. Oakley does drool. <laughs> so the boy does drool. Uh, we usually catch it. We have napkins around and towels that are designated drool towels. Anyway, I hope you're all having a nice day and enjoy the puppies. Bye-bye.